Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumbout TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we're finna talk about that boy, Pooh Man. Yeah, Pooh Man from Oakland. You know what I mean? He was a rapper down with the Dangerous Crew. You know what I mean? He was on that movie, uh, Minister Society. He had a role in that movie. You know what I mean? Him and Too Short did. And uh, he was featured on the Juice soundtrack. That was featured with Tupac. But yeah, man, Pooh, man, he was a real one, man. He was working with everybody, man. You know what I mean? Ain't Banks, uh, Spice One, Fote. You know what I mean? He was cool with everybody, man. It wasn't nowhere that he couldn't go, man. He had to pass all out there in Modesto. He was out there in Sac. He was real, real, real cool. With San Quinn, them too, man. But you know what I mean? He got hooked on that hair run. And he got hooked on that hair run. It just wasn't the same, you know, Pooh Man no more. You know what I mean? Pooh Man used to be about his money, man. And he was making records. He was, you know, he was Dangerous Crew for life, bro. He right up out the O. You know what I mean? He was there when MC Hammer put it down. Like, you can't talk about Oakland, man, and not speak about Pooh Man. Pooh Man was the one that went after that boy Yup Mouth, man, in the freestyle competition and, you know, just slid him, man, just murdered Yup Mouth, man. A young Yup Mouth at that. Because Pooh Man knew how to rap. You know what I mean? Just a lot of niggas didn't know nothing about him, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that nigga was right there, man. And he was there for a reason because he was there because of his muscle. He wasn't there because he can rap. He had good rap skills. No, he will be able to beat your motherfucking ass if you told him you ain't like his music. So, Too Short was like, yeah, I like this nigga here. Because, you know what I mean, if you don't like his music, he'll fight you. You know what I mean? But the nigga sold like 100,000 units, bro, independently. From Texas back to Cali, niggas was bumping that shit. You know what I mean? He was down with MC Breed. You know what I mean? He was down with uh, Ice Cube. You feel me? He even was down with Brother Lynch, my, uh, yeah, Brother Lynch uh, hung them niggas. He was down with uh, the Lynch mob too. You know what I mean? The nigga was out there, bro. You know what I mean? He was a major figure, but he was doing hair run on the low. So, you know what I mean? A couple of years after his career took off, he had done spent all his money and shit, and the nigga robbed the Walgreens, bro. So he went to prison, got paroled out. You know what I mean? He went back to Ant Banks and uh, Too Short. And you know what I mean? Rumors was this nigga here a dope head and shit like that. So, you know what I mean? He was still making his music or whatever. The album dropped so good. You know, the project they was working on. Now he came on some cheese. They was playing with his cheese. So, you know, he just started fighting. He started beating niggas' ass in the Dangerous Crew. You know what I mean? And where it is, he beat the shit out of Spice One. You know what I mean? But that's all allegedly. But he was known to run down on rappers like, you know what I mean, JT the Bigger Figure and uh, Richie Rich. They done had altercations with this nigga. Because when he had went off his rocker, you know, niggas would be coming to meet him on some good chill shit. And they find out, man, this nigga angry for some reason. You know what I mean? He don't want to do no music. He want to take some money. And he want to rob me. You know what I'm saying? The nigga became a cold-blooded robber out there, man. You know what I mean? He was started roughing niggas up. So he made a little diss song or whatever. Spice One made this song. He was dissing Too Short and Dangerous Crew. Them niggas fired back. But he caught Spice One one day and beat the shit out of him. So everybody was like, yeah, this nigga hear the truth. But you know what I mean? Some type of way all that shit got cleared up. You know what I mean? So, you know, they was beefing for a while, but they ain't get that nigga no money or no shit like that. So the nigga went, moved to Modesto. 
And when he moved to Modesto, he robbed like seven, eight banks with some old crackhead ass niggas. And they got caught. So he went in jail, went through a whole bunch of rehabs and shit, got off hair run and shit. But you know what I mean? He cool now. He done cleaned up his act. But you know, when he was in this addiction, bro, he didn't give a fuck about nobody, bro. When he was getting away, this man drove to his enemy house that he just had squashed the beef with, which was Spice One, and told the nigga to open his door. And when he opened the door, here this nigga come uh, falling in his door steps. And a 300,000 plus uh, community. He had a goddamn every police behind him because he robbed the bank and ran in this man's house. Because he had just went to the man's house a couple weeks ago, so he knew where it was. But he was really staking out a bank, too. When he left the house, he started staking out a bank. And when he got on that shit, he had four of his niggas come with him back in that town, and they robbed the bank. So he had made his escape route, uh, Spice One Crib. And Spice One got a lot of trouble behind that bullshit, man. But now everything all cleaned up, cleared up. You know what I mean? But that nigga, uh, Pooh Man was a motherfucker. Y'all don't know who he is. Y'all go check out that movie, Minutes to Society, man. Or go look up Pooh Man. He got a couple notable albums, bro. Peace, I'm out.